Welcome everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and today is my accessibility video on the OnePlus 7T. So accessibility is very important to me, as you may know. I'm visually impaired, which means I have to change and adjust the settings so I can use this device in the way that's easier for me. And I like to showcase and highlight all of these settings and options that you can change and adjust on a device which are called accessibility options. So on different devices, you'll find different options. There should be a mainstream of settings that you find on most devices, but some devices add their own. So today we're going to go through all the settings and all the options that we find on the OnePlus 7T. To start off with, there's an option called TalkBack, which can be activated by the volume key shortcuts. So down the left hand side, we have our volume controls. Press and hold these together. TalkBack on. OnePlus Launcher. So TalkBack is a service that will read everything back to you that you touch and highlight. So I can do that with my applications down here at the bottom. Phone. Messages. Chrome. Camera. Gallery. Play Store. Double tap to activate, double tap and hold to long press. Actions available. You swipe up then right to view. So there we go, we swipe up and then to the right to view. So it gives you options that you can do. Also, you can highlight up here at your taskbar as well. 12.08 p.m. Ringer silent. Wi-Fi three bars. Phone signal full. Battery 99%. So then it tells us all of our status options, which I think is really helpful. This will then talk back all other features, which I'm gonna highlight in the settings. Also, while TalkBack is on, it will actually read everything to you that is touched and highlighted in a certain area. So say we was in messages and I had a message, it would read back the whole message to me, which is really important. Say I was on Chrome and I wanted to look at the latest news, it would read all the latest news back to me. And then if I want to explore social media and see what's going on in the world, it will read everything to me, so for a tweet or a Facebook post, it will do that. And TalkBack is a great feature. To use the volume keys again to actually turn off, you can do quite simply, just press and hold. Talk back off. TalkBack is now off, so the device is set back to default as when you first got it. So when you do first get your device, you can also set up accessibility options right at the beginning, which I showed in my unboxing video, which you'll find linked in the description. To show more settings, what we're gonna do is scroll up here. We're gonna jump into the settings app. So there's a couple of options that you can choose here. So first of all, you could search for accessibility options, or you can scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you choose system, which is one for bottom. Inside system, pleased to see right at the top is accessibility. Yes, it's in the subsection, but it's not buried deep. So tap in accessibility, and now we get to see all the accessibility options we find on this device. So to start off at the top, you've got volume key shortcuts. So inside here, it's toggled on, as I want to use it permanently whenever I want to. You have options to change and adjust which one you want to use. So you might want to use accessibility menu. You might want to use switch access. You might want to use select to speak. You just choose which option best suits you and best suits your ability. Also, there is another option here to allow on the lock screen. So if you've got the lock screen on, you can use them volume key shortcuts then to actually make that action come true. Really pleased to see that on here. So carrying on underneath that, you then have accessibility menu. So once toggled on, it just highlighted there as well it adds a fourth icon down here at the bottom. You will need to use your icons along the bottom. You can't use gesture control. You won't have access to your accessibility icon down here. So tap in the accessibility figure down here at the bottom, brings up your accessibility menu. And inside here, you can quickly change and adjust and jump into any settings. And this will work throughout the device because this icon will stay here permanently now. Really good option to see. And I really liked that it highlighted where it was on your device. But I like accessibility menu because it has all your options, but you don't have to go burying deep down into the settings option. You then have select to speak. Select to speak is slightly different compared to talk back. Again, it's highlighting your accessibility man. It's down here at the bottom. So once this is on, I'm gonna press the accessibility man. I'm gonna to touch here. When select to speak is on, you can tap specific items on your screen to hear them read aloud. Start select to speak. Then you can tap a specific item like text or an image. Drag your finger across the screen to select multiple items. Tap the play button to hear everything on screen. Select text that appears inside the camera view. So it's really helpful there. They've changed and modified it. If I press again and press start. Navigate up. Select to speak. Use service. On. So what it done was, when I highlighted what I wanted to hear, it picked a certain section. But now I've pressed play, it's actually reading everything from the top down, which is really important. A really good feature and I really do like accessibility options here that allow us to change and manipulate our devices depending on our need. Underneath that is an option that I really do like, which is called Switch Access. So Switch Access offers the ability to use switches and interaction devices with your smartphone to make it easier for you to manipulate and use your smartphone. For someone, say instance, they can't use their fingers or their hands to manipulate all their way around their device. 
They can use a switch or interaction device to actually help them do that. Inside here is a range of different settings that you can change and adjust and go through depending on your own personal setup process, which I think is really helpful. So once toggled on, it will then have to allow to an agreement and you can start the setup process. So we have a USB switch or you have a Bluetooth switch. So you don't have to actually connect it to your device. You can use Bluetooth if you so want to. A really good option, and I do want to make a dedicated video on that really soon, so please watch out for that. Then underneath that, we have text-to-speech output. So text-to-speech output offers different options then to change our language, to change the presentation from the voice, and also change the speech rate and the pitch. This is an example of speech that is English. So it's a lot faster. I can also make it a lot slower, and I can also make it a lot high-pitched. So it depends on you and what you need to hear. So I think that's a really important thing. Press and reset, this will reset both of them. Underneath that are my two favorite options that I really like to use, that is font size. So it's already preset to the largest one. And it has a little preview up here at the top. Underneath that, you then have display size. So display size is set to large at the moment. Again, a couple of presets that you can see here. I can actually make that a little bit bigger, which makes it easier for me to read through the video. Underneath that is another option that I always do use, which is magnification. So inside magnification, you have magnify with triple tap or magnify with shortcuts. So we're gonna turn on this one. So once toggled on, one, two, three, three quick taps of the single finger, you can then manipulate your way around the device. And because it has that 90 hertz fluid display from OnePlus, it means you can actually fly around so quick, it's so smooth, and it just works so instantly. You can also use the pinch to zoom option as well, and with an AMOLED panel, you can really zoom in and see everything that's on your display. One, two, three, to come back, and it'll pop straight back out. There's also another option to magnify with shortcuts. So let's go in here, toggle on, and then down here at the bottom, we've got our accessibility figure again. Press this figure, your screen will then become orange. You can tap on whatever you want to see, and then you can zoom in. Use two fingers to manipulate your way around again. Tap your accessibility figure, and it will go out to the default zoom option. Another great couple of options there to use, which is really helpful, especially for me, that has low vision. Underneath magnification, you then have color correction. So once toggled on here, you can change and adjust the color correction here, depending what might actually be affecting your eyesight. Again, you have three different options to choose from. I'm really pleased to see they're on here. Underneath that, you then have the option for color inversion. So once toggled on, it will invert all of the colors, making it easier to read like this, but when you do go home, it inverts every color throughout your device and the system. So just bear that in mind when actually using. It's a little bit different to a dark theme, which I'll show you where that is in a little bit later on. But I like to have that option because it makes it easier to read the menus. Another option that's really helpful for someone that maybe not be able to touch or sort of highlight different things on their device is a large mouse pointer. So you can use a mouse with your device. Very simple to connect up and use as well. Underneath that, you then have remove animation. So if the animation bothers you or you don't want it, you can just remove it, which I think is a real good thing. Underneath that, you then have an option called dwell timing, which is quite a new setting that I've seen on smartphones through 2019. And what this does is allows you to take action, but at different times depending on you. If you are using a mouse cursor to manipulate your way around your device, you can actually make the action come true very quickly, or you can slow it down depending on your choice. A really good option there, and I'm pleased to see it on the OnePlus 17. Underneath that, you then have the power button to end calls. So your power button is down the right hand side. As you'll see, there's no textual difference between the actual bezel of the device or its actual power button, but the volume and ringer and silent switch above it has a textual difference. So you do know if you're using that compared to the power button. Underneath that, you have auto rotate screen. So if you rotate your screen, it will automatically do that for you. You then have touch and hold delay. So you can change this. And again, this is for interaction control with your smartphone. You have short, medium or long. So then you've got time to take action and accessibility timeouts. So this is a new setting that I haven't seen before. So choose how long to show messages that ask you to take action, but are visible only temporarily. There's a new setting that I haven't seen before and I'm really impressed to see new settings. Underneath that, you then have the options for vibration and haptic strength. You can go in here and change different options. So you've got ring vibration, notification vibration, and then touch feedback. So you can change and adjust them depending on you. So coming up underneath that, you have mono audio. So you can change and use mono audio. You have audio balance to the left or the right hand side. You have caption preferences as well. So if you need to have captions, you can do toggle this on. You can change your language with a whole range of different languages, which will then download. 
You've got then text size. You can have different text size. You've got very small, small, normal, large, or very large. I don't like the word normal, but you do have different options there. Then you have caption style. So you have six different options here to choose from, just depending what best suits you. So I'm really pleased to see that there. And then you can use captions. Then you have the option for hearing aid compatibility. So if you have a hearing aid that will work with a smartphone, you can turn that on here. Not all smartphones offer this option, so please bear that in mind. You then have high contrast text. So if you notice it's blue here, if I toggle this on, it then becomes white and quite actually harder to see, but it would be easier to see in different colors. So you can change and adjust that as well. Really pleased to see so far all of these settings on here and actually means that you can actually change and adjust this device to make it your own. There are a few other options that I do want to talk about. So if we come back here into our main body of settings and then go up to the top and then we're gonna to go to display. So in display, you've got adaptive brightness, which means it automatically changes and adjusts the display depending on the light that's around you. Really do like this option because when it comes late at night, it's good to change and adjust the brightness and get rid of that harsh blue light as well because you don't want to be bothered by that. Also, you can change and adjust the brightness already here. So coming further down, you do have screen calibration. So this is where you can change and adjust the display to whatever way you want it to look. You can actually change and adjust the colors completely. You can have a tint over it and just use it whatever way you want to. At the moment, I've got it set to advanced and then we're using the AMOLED wide gamma controls to actually make it really pop and come alive. Well, another one that I want to talk about that OnePlus is famous for currently at the moment is the 90 hertz refresh rate. It comes preset as well, which is really important, but it just means when I'm in the menu option here, I just fly through so quickly. There's no sort of delay. It just makes everything come true so quickly but I do recommend making sure you have a look and make sure that's turned on. It should be straight away though. So coming further down, there's a couple of other options I just want to speak about. First is night mode. So like I said about that harsh blue light, it's best to take that away later at night time. So turn night mode on. You can also pre-schedule this if you want to as well, turn on automatically at certain times and put a schedule. You can change and adjust it as well down at the bottom, depending on your choice. But I do like that option here and it's really good to turn on around about eight o'clock at night time just so your eyes get ready then to start going to sleep instead of actually waking up. One other thing I want to talk about is reading mode. So if you prefer to read, you can do. So I can toggle that on here. I've got a couple of options here. So we're gonna choose this option here. What it does is slightly tinge the display as well, making it a little bit easier for you to read. I could also change that as well by choosing this effect, which makes it a little bit different, which makes it mono and just makes it grays and whites a little bit easier. You also have then block peak notifications, so you can block notifications. Then also you can actually set this option to work with certain applications. So say you do read books and you can have your dedicated app like Google Playbooks and also the Amazon Kindle books. You could actually preset this in the application to just go to this color straight away as soon as you launch it, just making it easier for you to use. Again, another great option. I'm really pleased to see that on here. Coming further down, you then have ambient display. So ambient display means that you'll have your always on clock, you'll raise it to wake, and that are really good options to change and adjust inside here. But I just wanted to highlight where it was. You then also have font size and display size again, which is really good to see. And then also there's another option coming back to the main body settings. Then underneath display, you have customization. So in customization, you have preset themes. So this is where you can change your themes. Remember a while ago, I spoke about the actual option of using color inversion. This is a theme where it makes it a dark theme and making it easier to read. Inside here, there's three options. The first one is vibrant tints. You then have illumination lights. You then also have nuanced dark. So different options to choose from. So let's change to this option. We're gonna hit allow. It's just gonna actually do this, and which means it changes and adjusts it a little bit. Let's go to the dark theme, I just wanna call it, making it easier to say. So this makes it the dark theme, again, slightly different in the way it looks. Then also going back to what we did have it on, just to show you what the difference is. This is the vibrant tints that I like. A little bit more colorful and a little bit more fun. But inside customization, you can change so much and it's so good to see that inside here as well. So that is all of the accessibility settings and options that we are gonna find on the OnePlus 7T. And I'm really pleased to see all of them on there because there are so many options to use change and adjust depending on your ability. And if you are struggling to find anything or have any questions or queries, please leave a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help. 
please give the video a like as it does help support the channel. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay updated when I release any new videos. For me, Ricky, and the OnePlus 7T, which offers an amazing amount of accessibility settings, I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.